What does EBITDA of a company indicate? EBITDA stands for Earnings Before Interest, Tax, Depreciation and Amortization. Investors and analysts generally use it as a benchmark of profitability while comparing two or more companies. This helps to determine which company is profitable and which isn't in case they have a similar product. Why don't we understand the concept of EBITDA by analyzing the PL statements of companies A and B, where A manufactures soaps and B is a cement company? Now, let us assume that the sales of company A stand at Rs 1 lakh and those of company B stand at Rs 85,000. We separate the direct cost from the revenue, which brings the gross profit of A and B to Rs 66,000 and Rs 53,000 respectively. To determine the profits earned by the company before depreciation, interest and taxes, we subtract the operating expenses. While the profits from company A might seemingly appear higher, but on calculating the EBITDA margins, it becomes evident that the earnings capacity of both the companies stands at the same level. To derive the net profit of each company, we subtract the components of depreciation, interest and taxes and then proceed to determine the net profit margins. So why are these components added back? As it is clear from the example that the earning capacities of both the companies were at the same level. That is the EBITDA margins for both companies stood at 15% each, but on subtracting the depreciation interest and taxes, there is a change seen in the net profit margins. The net profit margin of company A saw a drop of 2% against company B. Hence, the reason why these components are added back is because they have a significant impact over the income statement and can make it look more or less profitable. By adding them back, we create a level playing ground, making it better to analyze different stocks for comparative purposes.